Uh, this week, uh, we'll be uh, reauthorizing FISA, and we're going to do a, a big reform on the intelligence program. We're enacting sweeping changes, over 50 reforms, 56 to be exact, to the program that are in the base text that will stop uh, the abuse of politicized FBI queries and prevent another Russia hoax debacle, among many other uh, important reforms. No more steel dossiers, no more, no more of the intelligence community relying on fake news reports to order a FISA order, no more collusion. The, these changes will make sure that that doesn't happen. And Congress is stepping in because the FBI is, has frankly failed to adequately police its own agents, and the agency is in need of dramatic culture change. This is an important first step in that. And the real culture change will come, we know, after the election cycle when, when Republicans are in charge again in the White House and the Senate and the House, and we'll be able to, 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 uh, to really do the dramatic reforms that are necessary. It's critical we address these abuses because we don't want uh, to be able to use or, or to, to lose Section 702 of FISA. It's a, it's a critically important uh, piece of our intelligence and law enforcement in this country because it allows us to continue killing Hamas terrorists. You have to stop the terrorists before they kill Americans. It allows us to track shipments of illicit chemicals used to make fentanyl. It allows us to protect U.S. warships from attacks by Houthi rebels. It allows us to stop China from stealing American intellectual property, and, and it prevents ransomware attacks against American companies. That's, that's all the things that are empowered and allowed by this, this set of laws, this statute, and we, we can't allow that to expire or lapse. Our bill provides that and uh, for all these things, and, I, and, and our, college, our colleagues, I, I think, will support it. Uh, we can protect the Fourth Amendment rights of Americans, clearly, and we can, we can protect them in their person as well. We have to strike the balance. Government always does. You have to protect, jealously guard the fundamental liberty of the American people, which I made a career doing before I came to Congress as a religious liberty defense lawyer and a constitutional defense lawyer in the courts. So you protect the liberty, but at the same time, you get to protect their security. And we can't allow a critical tool like this to just expire and, and go out of use. So um, we, we think the House will, will take the right steps.